Good afternoon. It's a very difficult task to speak about my mentor, Professor Muhammad Sobh. First of all, I would like to thank Professor Gamal Saadi, the president of the African, African Society of Transplantation and the Egyptian Society of Transplantation for this kind of invitation to introduce Professor Sobh, as well as a lot of appreciation because for the second consecutive year, he nominated one of the pillars of Mansoura team. Last year was Professor Ghanim, the leader of transplantation in Egypt and the Middle East, and the founder of Urology and Infrastructure Center, and this year, Professor Sobh. This is, I am very proud that I am a member of this fascinating team, and here, as you see, in the core and the heart of the, of the unit, and the center is Professor Ghanim, the founder, and Professor Sobh was my professors and colleagues uh, in this uh, uh, photo. The journey of Professor Sobh started since 1949, 70 years. So from the early beginning, Professor Sobh has strong, well, well motivated, and he uh, has a good insight to do something. Then he was graduated from Faculty of Medicine in 1973, and he had master degree of internal medicine in 1977, and you can see here using blackboard. And then the, his career of nephrology was enriched by attachment uh, to Canada, Sherbrooke, to start for residency between 79 and 81. After that, he achieved and finished MD degree in internal medicine and became lecturer of internal medicine, and then professor of internal medicine and nephrology in 1993. Professor Sobh has a lot of publication, more than 227 PubMed indexed articles. This is why he harvested all the state awards and some international awards from Algeria and from Jordan. So from Egypt, he, uh, he harvested all state awards, encouragement award, uh, early in 1870, 1877, and the national prize for the distinction in medical sciences, a state merit award, and then crowned by the Nile Award for Advanced Technology in 2017. And all of us were pleased that he was acknowledged uh, this year, uh, on 18 August from the president, Abdel Fattah Sisi. So the Professor Sobh is a very kind supervisor. This is during my master degree discussion on 1996 with the team. And this is the MD degree. And this photo includes uh, Professor uh, Assam Khidr that all of us in the nephrology community feel uh, uh, terrible pain because of his loss this week. Also, Professor Sabh founded Mansoura Nephrology Club to enhance nephrology education for doctors working in the public hospitals to increase awareness of nephrology and to take care of the patients to improve their care. And this Mansoura Nephrology Club evolved into the Kahle Nephrology Group and we are working hardly in this uh, uh, sector. In 2008, we established international hemodialysis course. Every year we have a course, and this year will be the 13th course. And for the last five years, the course was dedicated for African countries. One of the landmark points is the establishment of MD nephrology degree at Mansoura University. And this photo is the date of the, uh, the Dr. Muhammad Kamal Nassar, the first lecturer of nephrology at Mansoor University on this date, December 2015. And we were honored and we are honored to have the great Professor Assam Khedr that um, also shared us this moment. Also, Professor Rashad Barsoom, the greatest star the greatest star of nephrology in Egypt and in Arab world. And the, he is unique in everything. 
shared with us the discussion of autophagy thesis of Dr. Summer this year. Always, I am happy because we learned a lot from the two eminent figures in Egypt in nephrology, Professor Barsoom and the Professor Sobh, and, and we, we try to follow their steps. One of the most important achievement of, uh, done by Professor Sobh is establishment of Mansoura Medical uh, Experimental Research Center at Mansoura Faculty of Medicine. A lot of publications and inspired a lot of medical students and even non medical students. And this is one of the medical students dissecting a rat in the Experimental Research Center. And I like this photo because this photo includes 32 medical students. All of them achieved very nice uh, research and they uh, went abroad, traveled to Europe or United States to present their work in either oral or abstract manner. And this is, was in the era editor in 2012 and this were two medial, medical students. And I was very happy because these are two medical students in the fourth year discussing with Professor Bonticelli and Professor Johnson, and they are bellers in the Nephrology International figures, and they discussed with them how to improve their research. And from the students' work, we have already eight articles uh, PubMed uh, indexed. And one of the most important point, the activities of Professor Sobh to establish a research mind was extended to even to uh, students in preparatory school. And this was the closing uh, uh, presentation of the Regenerative Medicine in 2012. And you enjoy the presentation of this student. And when she said that, when she joined the Merck, uh, her heart is, is not saying bomb bomb, but says medicine, medicine. Also, Professor Soh practices exercise, and I tried to imitate him in this uh, sector, and I failed. So he's practicing exercise. He's very kind father, grandfather, and his chemistry is well fitting with my son Salah, always. Professor Sobh is a very kind man. Uh, all uh, his students and colleagues beloved him. And this is uh, Professor Ashraf, the professor, uh, professor Tariq Medhat. And one of the important moment that Professor Sobh is interested in to have medical round to teach fellows and trainees and to get the benefit of the patients so that he likes to do a clinic around, and this is, was a very recent clinic around in the last two months. Also, we uh, cannot uh, leave him, so this is the distance learning. Always when we discuss the cases, we need his expertise in, and the opinion in the case solving. Uh, so Professor Sop has a strong will, and the strong willing is the only guarantee to make impossible possible because it is, it changes, I cannot do it, to I can do it. Yes, he is a successful man, but this, this is the, sec the secret of success. A lot of efforts done to reach this uh, uh, success. And I think he is a great believer in this statement. He does his best and leave the outcome for Allah. Because as you see here, do your best and let the rest go. You cannot be perfect no matter how hard do you try? So give yourself a credit for making an effort and to try to stop stressing about the outcome. So the outcome is from Allah. I tried to put a mnemonic for the Professor Sobh. So he is marvelous history maker. As he is an outstanding personality, honest physician and affable, nice person and able. Uh, he is a motivator. Uh, encouraging and enhancer uh, personality, very decent. He is simple and in the same moment superb, open mind, and he is brilliant and achieves a lot of breakthrough in nephrology, medicine, and research. And the most important attribute that uh, crown uh, his uh, attributes is 
the, the most important character that crowns his attributes is humbleness. So he is a very humble person. And I think the best way to describe Professor Sobh is to translate, to transfer to Arabic. And what I'm going to mention is just translation to what I mentioned in the mnemonic. Yani, Hafiz Ibrahim, Shair Nil Azim, Lamael, Faida Rosikta Khalikatan Mahmudatan, Fakadis Tafaka Mukasimul Arzaki, Fanasu, Hada Havu Melun, Wada Elmun, Wadaka Makarimul Akhlaki, Walmanu, Ilam Tadahiru Muhassanam Bil Elmi, Kanan Nihayatal Imlaki, Walmu. إن لم تكتنفه شمائل تعليه كان مطية الإخفاق لا تحسبن العلم ينفع وحده ما لم يتوج ربه بخلاق وأكاد أجزم وأشهد الله أن الأستاذ الدكتور محمد صبح هذا العملاق يتميز بكل الصفات الجميلة الموجودة في هذه الشريحة لا أملك وأنا التلميذ الصغير لهذا العملاق الكبير إلا أن أنا أتوجه بخالص الدعاء لله سبحانه وتعالى أن يبارك لنا فيه ويرزق البركة في عمره ويرزق الصحة ولكي يبقى لنا نهرا ننهل من علمه ومن خلقه ويبقى قدوة على طول الدوام وشكرا جزيلا لتكريم أستاذنا الدكتور محمد صبح والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته